take care of product marketing for Aperture India. So uh, here we are uh, from Aperture uh, in DCOP to do some uh, lighting workshop uh, and to also give a touch and try uh, for our Aperture lights. Aperture basically manufacture lights for filmmakers and photographers. So the students that come out as filmmakers and photographers uh, uh, on the field will get to know the uh, things in hand before even they could become professionals. shooting it from here they will out of my face uh, they will get to uh, you know, capture more of my lighting side of my face and uh, less of my shadow side of it so it's called broad lighting so where do you if you have to tell something like HSS is a technology in terms of flash they make all the you know, things with this technology and they name it and they kind of bombard the products into the market but uh, here in Aperture uh, the founders themselves are filmmakers uh, they value that uh, thing, what the filmmaker goes through, what's the struggle that he goes through on the field and stuff. So, we as a company started for started making lights for the independent filmmakers. What's the independent filmmaker goes through? Like, filmmaking students are here, right? Yes, green to, yeah, it's correct, so please say it louder. So, it's green to magenta shifts. What happens is like with the white lights, sometimes they uh, tend to exhibit, if it is not a more accurate or a good light, good quality light, they tend to exhibit a slight tinge towards either green or magenta. So you need to have that uh, controlling thing when it is going towards a greener end, you can have do the magenta shift so that it becomes proper white again. We told about uh, NOAA panels, right? If you have seen through the presentation, other than only you know listening to me, what is the beam angle of those uh, NOAA panels? Who said one I think he uh, he answered first. So here in the decop studio, now we are setting up the aperture amaran lights and. Uh, we are seeing what is a 2.3 point lighting with the multiple lighting setup how you can do the interview and the portraits that's what the students are exploring then and they are having a touch and drive with the aperture lights Now the point is I'll tell you where exactly you require flash and where exactly you can get away with this.